everybody welcome in happy monday actually does today feel like a monday to anybody else it does not feel like a monday to me that i consider to be a good thing to be completely honest um wait is today even monday yes it definitely is it feels so not like a monday that i was questioning myself about whether or not that's actually the day that it was but it is indeed that day um and i'm happy to be in coral island i feel like today is going to be a very exciting day now that we've officially um, cleaned all of the ocean, like the world is our oyster, essentially. Um, also, we just leveled up our town rank, which is very exciting. And I feel like we'll have a lot of stuff to explore related to that. So I'm looking forward to it. OK, what is going on today? Uh, Let's say hey to Thackeray, as we are required to do at the start of every day. Hi, Thackeray. How are you? Honestly, I don't know if there's more gameplay to having a pet than just saying hey to them in the morning. If so, I have yet to discover it, but I guess that's OK. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Uh, what is in our mailbox? Tink, I have to admit, I'm writing you today with an agenda. While shooting a video the other day, I spotted several animals stumbling on a large log behind my house. They fell and got hurt. I hate to be a bother, but could you break up the log? I don't have the right tool and I need your help on this. Okay, wait, this is by... Okay, behind their house. I will try to remember that. I know where they live. Uh, oh, Farmer Tink, with the town climbing to rank C, our funding has been a bump. I don't know what that means. Oh, that means even cooler quality of life gadgets for the farm are now on the table. Let me introduce you to a couple. The auto chest and the ultimate scarecrow. The auto chest automates your production and can even turn into a conveyor belt. The scarecrow, it covers a 19 by 19 field. That's amazing. Eliana, hello, hello. JJ's Cozy Corner Raid, welcome on in. Thank you so much for coming. How was stream? What were you playing? Uh, Corey, hello. JJ, hi. Floor, Canada Crossing, hello. Uh, we are playing Coral Island. We just started. I'm just checking my mail. <laughs> we have a lot going on right now. Uh, stuck on an ad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think I do have ads when you first pop in, but um, there shouldn't be any during the stream once you're in here. Wait, Josh is a, cr a croner now? What? Um, okay, let's see, let's see. Yes, more things at the lab for us. Uh, we are in our first year of Coral Island here and it's towards the end of summer. I've been playing on like the slowest day speed. So we always, um, I don't know. We spend a few days on Coral Island each time we stream, but the progress is slow going, but I kind of enjoy that. Not going to lie. Today, our main goal is seeing what all we unlocked with our level C town rank upgrade and working on upgrading our computer because we just got one a few streams ago. But I want the special gadgets that let you do fun things. A lot of chess. Listen, OK, one thing about me, um, I mostly play Dreamlight Valley on this channel, um, but I play Coral Island every week as well. I, in every game, am a huge hoarder. Like, I have such a hard time selling anything because I always feel like I'm going to need it eventually. So I have a million chests right now and they're all not very organized. I tried at first and it's just kind of devolved into a lot of nonsense but we are going to work on it actually the plan that i've been saying for the past season in coral island is that once we reach autumn we're going to renovate the farm because the farm also is just a conglomerate of items that i just threw wherever i had space we're gonna renovate the farm make it actually efficient and maybe pretty who knows and we're gonna organize our storage system hi michelle hello how are you you share the hoarding personality trait. Really? Yeah, I feel like there's nothing more upsetting to me 
than knowing I had something and I got rid of it right before I needed it. So that's why I just keep everything. You hoard in Palea so much, so mad respect. Oh my goodness, Palea, don't even get me started. <laughs> I think I have the biggest chest upgrade for Palea right now. And I think I also have as many chests as I can put on my lot in Palea out right now. So yes, Palea, Dreamlight Valley, Coral Island, anything you give me that you can forage or collect supplies, I am going to have as many of them as possible. Amanda, hello, hello. You just started following. You've been watching the Dreamlight Valley streams. Oh, thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh, wait, our barn is bigger. I think that means we can finally get more animals. We just upgraded it. Maybe last stream or the one before. But we didn't get a notification that it was done, so I didn't realize. Fellow hoarder, JJ, I feel like it's the way to go. I do. There's nothing quite so satisfying as having everything you could possibly need and more. Okay, let me put these in there as well. Maybe we'll also try to get some more livestock today. Because I think we have a lot more options now. Okay, so I also need to check I never play this game in between streams, so every time I open it, I feel like I'm getting used to what I was doing last time again. I feel like we needed the Osmium Ore specifically for what we were trying to get at the lab. So I'm going to dump everything from my inventory, and then we're going to go to the lab and see what we can get. I think one of these also is a produce chest, if I'm not mistaken. Sure, you can go there. That's fine. Oh, and bananas? Uh, sure. The one thing about this game, though, is that the music is so soothing that I feel like it always puts me into a little bit of a trance. Okay. So I'm going to grab a bunch of supplies that I think we might need. Since I don't have the list on me. Probably this. Probably... You know what? I'm not going to do this. We're just going to go to the lab and we'll come back and get what we need. Otherwise, I will have a backpack full of everything on the planet. And I think our next major goal is getting to the bottom of the fire mine. I think that's our main thing that we're working towards. Let's process these. And see what we need here. Oh, okay. So this is the auto trash collector that we just unlocked, I believe. Automatically collects trash when placed on the ocean floor. That's kind of interesting. Um, the ultimate scarecrow. Automation chest. Okay, we needed osmium ore, we need some batteries, gold ore, and wind essence. I think we should probably have all of these. Same, you could play it for hours just for the music. Yes, I think most of the songs are on SoundCloud. Like, Stairway uploaded them ages and ages ago, back when the game was first in early access. And sometimes if I'm just doing stuff around the house, I put on the the game soundtrack because it's so just calming. OK, we need batteries, two more of these. We need 10 of these. And. Hmm. <laughs> I've already forgotten what the other thing was that we needed. One, two, three, and you know what? What did we need? I forgot. Let me just grab a little bit of everything. I feel like we should have a notebook option that gives us the wait, actually. Can I order it from here? 
this is kind of a new thing to me, the computer. So I'm still figuring out what we can and can't get. No. Okay, we can't get that computer part here. So we'll just have to go back. Let me just take this. It's not going to be any of this, I don't think. But I'll take this too. And I believe these computer parts that we're going to unlock are going to give us the ability to locate certain forageables or insects or fish. And then we'll be able to start setting traps to get them a lot more easily. Oh, water essence, wind essence, earth essence. Okay, okay, that's my bad. It was in a completely different chest. That's why I did not remember. Girl, stop carrying around a bunch of gold. And I think I have those in here. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna actually bring all of these along with me and I'm gonna get my other batteries. Maybe we can actually end up getting two of these computer parts right now. Hi kitty, hello, hello. You can only pop in until around three, no worries. I hope uh, your travel and such is going well. Welcome in. It's a rainy day in Coral Island. It's actually a rainy day where I live right now too, so it's kind of nice. A little bit fitting. Okay, I think we want to prioritize... Probably catching and fishing. Let's do... Let's do the catching one first. Okay, and we will go investigate, see what we've got. You just checked into the hotel. Nice. Is it glorious? Is it an exciting one? I feel like whenever I'm traveling for work, I always um, hope that the places that we stay are nice. And sometimes they are pretty nice. Uh, no new errands, unfortunately. And we should be able to donate one of these to the museum. Yes, brilliant. We're actually making pretty good progress on the museum. Insects and fish dramatically lacking. And gems. I feel like we go mining a lot. But finding actual gems in the mines is pretty difficult. Pretty nice. It's a loft. Nice. I love that. Lofts always made me think of tiny homes for some reason. Um, and one of my goals is to just like travel around the US staying in different tiny homes. I think that would be so fun. I used to want to live in an actual tiny home, but then I remembered that I like books way too much and my book collection alone <laughs> would mean that I don't have enough. <laughs> like I don't have the ability to keep everything that I own in that small of a space long term. But it's just one of those dreams. It would be cute for a short period of time, I think. Okay, let's put this there. And I wonder if that automatically installed to our computer. Oh, yes. Okay, insect forecast. So new. Um, okay. Um... So I'm guessing this is telling us what's currently there or what will be there throughout the day today. So there's a spider situation down there. There's a mantis up here. 
maybe we'll go up here and try to find something new. Or see if we actually have the ability to make traps currently. Hmm. That's a cheese press. That's very much not an insect trap. I feel like I know what they look like. Is it this? Ground insect trap. I also don't know how these work. Hi, Kim. How are you? Oh, it's what's currently there. Okay. Good to know. Let's actually go there. After putting away all this stuff. And then we'll probably go to the mines, I believe. That would be kind of nice. Uh, let me put this in forageables. Nope. Yes. We're getting to the point where I really need to do something about this storage. I feel like I've talked about it for streams on streams recently. Uh, you can go in there too. There we go. And seeds. There. Uh, the rest of this can stay on me. That's fine. We should be good. You're prepping for your presentation on microbiology. Oh my goodness. That was... Oh, I had to take microbiology twice i think and neither time was fun <laughs> i did not enjoy it either time i got to take it um it's interesting but just i don't know so complex but good luck on your presentation i hope it goes really well oh no i forgot my axe okay let's look around see if we can find this mantis that we don't have yet. It was definitely in this area. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, there are certain, I don't know, when I went to university, my class list was so specific we didn't really have a lot of options in terms of what we could take it was pretty much like this semester you take these classes next semester you have all these classes oh no there it is oh i'm so sad okay to the mines we go <laughs> i couldn't see it it blended in with the ground and also it was hidden by the the tree oh well it will be here at some other point in the future i have faith um yeah, so it's all so structured. And the first couple semesters were just so scientific. Oh yeah, no worries. Thank you again, JJ, for bringing your community over. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This is the wrong shaft. Okay, let's go here. Actually... Listen, y'all, give me a second. <laughs> we can still be here. It's okay. I haven't finished my first coffee yet. And it shows, unfortunately. I don't have a weapon, which means <laughs> I'm just going to be chased by these things with no way to protect myself. You know what? It's fine. We're leaving. <laughs> We're going back home. <laughs> oh, no. You would think that I've never played this game before. Or I've <laughs> I don't know what it is. You know what I actually think that it is? I think it's just uh, subconsciously the fact that we achieved our ultimate goal in this game of completely healing the ocean has just really done a number on me. Um, I don't quite know what to do with myself anymore and everything is a little bit falling to pieces. <laughs> Let me also just make a quick stop over at the blacksmith before we go back. We can open the... Uh, actually, let me not because they'll stack if we find more of them. And I don't want to take up extra space here. 
I think I'm also now that we finished healing the ocean starting to feel the pressure to narrow down which townies we like the most. So I'm kind of trying to avoid that at all costs. When I was uh, finding which picture I wanted to use for the thumbnail, um, I was looking at all of the, the datables. I saw Nina, I saw Luke. I was like, oh, I like them a lot. And then I was just looking at everybody and realizing that I've, I've come no further in figuring out who's my favorite. Feeling the pressure of it. I think we're just gonna live like a single Pringle for a while though and not commit to anybody. Just focus on us and our farm. Accomplishing all of our non-romance related dreams. Oh, hey, I think this is the first time I've seen a rock that has a gem in it. Oh, well, that was my own fault. In 2.3 mine shafts. A quartz, nice. Single Pringle, you haven't heard that phrase in a long time. It's not something I say regularly. It just felt like the right thing at the moment. Okay. Keeping it moving. Oh, also we have the festival coming up. I'm trying to think. I have done the beach cleanup festival once before. In early access. I'm trying to remember if there's anything we need to do to prepare for it. I don't really think so. Oh, these ones are kind of spooky. That one's on fire and that one's like a skeleton bat. Um, I feel like some of the festivals, they don't really tell you the things that you should be thinking about beforehand, and then you have to kind of wait until the second year when you know what's going on. This game looks so cozy, you've never heard of it before. Oh, Coral Island is wonderful. If you like farming sims, like if you've played um, Stardew Valley or uh, Story of Seasons, or more recently, if you played Fey Farm, it has a lot of things in common with those games. But it also is pretty unique in some ways. Like there's this entire underwater, like diving ocean conservation mechanic. Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna let that one live its life. And there are so many townies and they're all, I feel like really well designed in terms, in terms of their personality. Like they all feel like actual fleshed out characters, if that makes sense, which I really enjoy. I feel like if I were playing Coral Island in my free time, every single day, I would just go talk to everybody and see what they have to say. Hi, Gabby, how are you? What's the fastest way to get Darkwood in Dreamlight Valley? Um, you can only get it from the Forgotten Lands. So it's best if you can to add lights and maybe some light colored paving to the Forgotten Lands so you can see things a little bit better. And if you get rid of all of the trees, except for like three of them and put them all next to each other, you'll always know where the Darkwood is because it'll just be by those trees. But also, if you have the DLC, A Rift in Time, if you make the Ancient Vacuum, I believe the second level vacuum will pick up wood, although it might even be the first one. And then you can just stop back and check the vacuum every so often and collect all of the dark wood that way. Bay Farm Festivals felt like that too, where half the event felt like you'll be able to get everything if you were already in year two. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I did enjoy Fay Farm, but I feel like, um, yeah, there were some parts that I really liked. I really liked the kind of magic component and that you could make the potions. I thought that was really fun. Um, I really liked the caverns in Fay Farm. I wasn't as big of a fan of the townies. I felt like they all felt very flat and 
um, not distinct. I didn't really have any desire to interact with them. And I wasn't a huge fan of the festivals because I felt like they were just kind of shop events, like limited time shop offers. But I kind of do want to play Fae Farm again. We might later this year. There was a DLC that came out in December, I believe. And I think the next one is supposed to come out around June. So maybe we'll wait until that one comes out and then check out the new content. All farming games are lovely. Stardew is your fave, but the ocean part of this game sounds so nice. Oh, it's so good. It's like so peaceful too. At least I think so. Oh, we got a new weapon. Flame guard, great sword. It's a weapon. <laughs> Absolutely, it's a weapon. Um, 130 versus 100. Okay, so the golden crested hammer that we have actually is better. So we'll keep that. Down we go. You're good. You're working though. I hope work's going well. Oh no, not the flying things at the same time. Not the staggered. Okay. There we go. I think we're good. See if we can at least make it down to level 25. There should be an elevator there. Oh, hey. Don't mind if I do. Did I ever pick a Shep in Palea? You know I didn't. <laughs> you know I did not. <laughs> um, I need to. There's so much I need to do. Listen. I just hate making decisions, especially decisions that feel like you can't take them back. Um, do I think anything negative will come from picking a Shep that I eventually kind of wish I had picked somebody else? No, literally the consequences are pretty much zero. However, um, I can't help it. Who would I say I'm leaning towards right now? Right now, I would say either Ashura or Delilah. But then here's the thing. Um, I do have romance levels with Nayo, and I feel like if that ends up going nowhere, it would be awkward if I'm stuck with Delilah as my chef. Ashura is probably the safe option because he has no connections to any of the dateable townies um but he's not my favorite personality wise but he is pretty cute and like fatherly hi prib hello hello thank you for lurking i appreciate it and i hope tucking in time is going well but yes i feel like um for said reason, I really wish, um, and Prib, I know you know the phrase for this. I'm sure a lot of the rest of you do as well. Um, in games, there's an option. You can do this in The Sims, <laughs> which I've been playing again recently, where you can create a new save, like separate save file off of an existing point. So like say, we'll use The Sims for this because I was playing it this morning. Um, if I'm playing in The Sims, and I reach a, a pivotal point where things could go one way or the other way. You can click save as in your current save and save it as a separate file. So then you can kind of play the same game, but take the two branches and separate saves. I wish you could do that in, I understand why you can't in Palea. Although I wish you could do that in Palea, but I really wish you could do it in Coral Island because I feel like all of the time put into a Coral Island save, I, I don't know if I have it in me to do that again, to try different outcomes. Like I wish I could just take my current state with my farm, the town rank, our money, and just branch off in different directions. 
I feel like you might have been able to do that in Hogwarts Legacy too. Although, I don't really remember. I just sort of remember seeing multiple save slots under the same actual game. Hi, Princess Luca. Hello. Save scumming. Yes. Thank you, Prib. I will be undecided forever. A little bit. I mean, if I'm forced to make a choice at some point, I will. Or if I really um, look at myself and see a need for change, um, I'm sure I will pick a, a chef in Palea. But I feel a little bit like the game is going to have to force my hand, either with a bunch of new story stuff or... I don't know. Something's going to need to make me go, you know what? I really need to just pick a shop now. Because I don't think anything... Whoa! Not the ogre. I'm not prepared for this. Let me eat this. Uh, yeah, that helped my health a little bit. The term stems from the old LucasArts point or point and click adventures. Oh, interesting. Look at myself and see a need for change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would have to do some deep uh, self work, I think, to what was that about? To actually um, change my behavior with that. And it's so weird because I'm not really like this in real life. Uh, I don't really mind making decisions that have kind of long term consequences. However, in games, for some reason, I absolutely don't want to. There we go. Oh, we just got a Steam um, achievement saying we've defeated all enemy types. That's pretty fun. Also, the ogre thing reminded me of um, Breath of the Wild. I feel like all all signs are pointing back to <laughs> back to Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I mean, Kitty, actually, there's a larger conversation to be had there. <laughs> However, <laughs> I don't know that now is the time or place to go into that. But yes. Hence, save scumming, but that's a brief history lesson. I appreciate it. I think, like, video gaming history and lore uh, is so interesting to me. Because I wasn't really ever a gamer. Like, I've played games in various points in my life, but it wasn't until maybe a couple years ago that I actually played many games regularly. So I don't really understand a lot of the a lot of the the stuff that makes gaming communities what they are. Or where certain things come from. Okay, let's get this guy too. Oh wait, this was as far as I wanted to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it down even further. Okay, I don't like that. What? You like the hit and run technique? Okay, listen, is there any other technique? Whoa! Is there any other technique for this game, though? Because uh, as far as I know, there aren't like dodge options. Unless I just missed that. You know what? I never go to the Band of Smiles. Maybe they teach you things there. But as far as I know, all there is is hitting and running. Um, I feel we're not going to be able to get another five levels before the end of the day. So we're actually going to, well, we have so much energy now. Uh, we can at least clear this level. See if we get any geodes or gems or something. Choose your own adventures books were like that to you. You used to reread so you could pick every option. Oh, yes. It's kind of like that. Actually, yes, there are a couple like choose your own 
um, story apps that I've historically used. And anytime you have to make a decision that you can't take back, I'm like, um, <laughs> do I have to? Or can I just like do both? Okay. Both crib juniors are sound asleep. Oh, amazing. Not me whispering like they can hear me. <laughs> I like time to put on our quiet voice. When my brother was really little, like tucking in to sleep age, he would not like, he hated it if he was alone in his room at night. So he couldn't fall asleep by himself. So one of us always had to be in the room while he was falling asleep. And you had to make sure that kid was out, out before you even thought about trying to leave. Because if you tried to tiptoe and there was any sort of consciousness in him at all, you'd have to start the process all over again. That was a very interesting couple of years there. Okay, yeah, I know we have a way down, but we're not going to be able to make it to the next elevator, so we're just going to gather all of the supplies that we can from this level. You feel like most kids have that phase period of time like that? Yeah, it's definitely not uncommon. But my youngest brother is so much younger than the rest of us that it had been a long time since any of us experienced that. And me and my other siblings were old enough at that point where our parents were like, okay, we can each take a night. <laughs> so we, uh, we passed the responsibility around. Oops. Also got to keep our eye on the clock. You're in peak needs to at minimum have a sibling in the same room. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah. Okay, I think we should probably head home. It's getting late. We still have a bunch of energy, but you never know. Anything could happen. Gotta put all this stuff away still. Okay, homeward bound. Oh, we also have new furniture that we're gonna be able to look at. Maybe we should try to do that tomorrow. It's gonna be Wednesday tomorrow. So the general store will be closed, but I'm pretty sure everything else is going to be open. Um, let me also grab some trash out. We can put this um, in our recyclers. Sure, recyclers. Grab this. We should probably also make some bars with this osmium ore. So let's try to do a bit of that. Because I'm sure we'll need that. Oh, we'll need that to upgrade our tools. Um, This can go in here. I think we might have silver quality larkspur in here. Yeah. Oh, and we have bronze quality in here. Don't mind if I do. Okay, and then monster stuff. We'll chuck this sword in here. This sap, I think, goes back here somewhere. Yes. Uh, this quartz we've already donated, so we can just pop her in here. And then this blueberry, where does this belong? Oh, there. Perfect. 
And let's make sure I'm going to need this. Uh, we're probably going to need these. And I think that might be it. Actually, you know what? We're going to live on the wild side a little bit. I'm going to go chop those logs so they have time to respawn. I don't really know what the respawn cycle is for the logs in the deeper forest area. But I think we need hardwood for a lot of things right now. Wait, what, kitty? Okay, we got this one. Anything else? I think just those two. All right. Time to hurry home. Oh, wait. I don't need this snail, but we might as well catch it while we're here. I know it's getting late. I know, I know, I know, I promise. I think I can go home this way. Um, can I? We'll say yes. Yeah, I think this is going to lead us to the far side of our... of our farm. Hi, Yana. Hello, hello. Hi, Wolfie. How's everybody today? Okay, flowers. Uh, I'm going to have to put this one in forageables. And this goes here. And then bugs. Okay, time to sleep. Time to sleep. Hi, Landon. How are you? Oh, and tomorrow we have birthdays. Okay, now is our chance. Actually, I remembered that Leah's birthday is tomorrow. Now is our chance to get into her good graces. And it's also Anne's birthday tomorrow. And what's the weather going to be? Sunny. Okay, so we'll have to take care of our farm as usual. Go to bed. Oh, we can make a spring trap. I don't know what that means. Um, And monster scent. Okay. I wonder if we have this new mastery point that we can spend. We can check. Oh, I think we also have a, one of the meteor things that I forgot about on our lot somewhere. Oh, chop the log behind Paul's house. Can you track that? Um, no. Okay. Okay. A trap. <laughs> the description on these items gets me every time. I always come in here expecting to have information about it, <laughs> but it's just like a trap. Uh, okay. And mastery. Oh, we do. Mining. Um, chance to find double gems. That would be really helpful. Selling price of gems. I don't care. Let's do this double gems one. And for combat, let's do... Uh, I'm not really that bothered about the loot. Actually, yeah, let's do this double loot one. Good morning, Thackeray, my love. My darling, my dearest. How was St. Patrick's Day? It was pretty fine. I didn't do anything special for the holiday. Did anybody else get up to anything? I feel like in the past, I've lived places where St. Patrick's Day was like a big thing. I don't know that it is here. And if it is, I'm just out of the loop. Uh, Tink, Cho Oyu has found something interesting. This is fantastic news you don't want to miss. Wait, this is what we've been waiting for. I didn't realize this would happen so soon. Um, we need to uh, investigate that. It's a must. These, I think, are ready. I don't have my scythe on me. Okay. Harvest. And are these ready yet? No, still no. Okay. There are some serious, mysterious things happening on our farm with plants staying watered when it hasn't been raining, but only some plants. But I know we have the... Um... I think it was one of the mastery things that 
gave us a chance for some plants to stay watered, but it wouldn't make sense that it was all of them here. Something's up, but I'm just going to accept it because it means less work for us. Yay, go to the ocean. Oh, I will. Don't worry about it. We have so much stuff to do. We have to go to the ocean. We have to get new animals for our barn. We should probably work on upgrading our coop, which we might have what we need to do that. I think I was just waiting on more hardwood. So we might be able to now. We have to see what new clothes are available at the shop. We have to see what new furniture is available at that shop. Just lots of things. Um, let me milk you, please. And you. Ooh, we're getting some quality products. I think that's because we upgraded our animal feed. I think so. Alright, come on out. Enjoy this lovely summer's day. I kind of do want to make the better scarecrow so we can get rid of those. on me too. I feel like it's probably a good idea to start keeping all of our tools on us. Don't use any materials yet. I'm- wait, for what? I'm not using materials for anything currently. Um... Put that there. Wait till going to the ocean. Okay. Let me put these away. And... Let me actually see what's out right now, since we have this ability now. Insect forecast. Ooh, there's a mantis there. There's a butterfly thing there. There's something over here. There are so many insects we haven't found yet. Okay, let's go over to the forest. See if we can actually get it this time. Gonna have to be especially sneaky. You know what I never do, and I actually really probably should? I never break these, but I'm pretty sure we can get like books or like little journal pages or something from them from time to time. No, that's just a thing. Oh, there it is. The time to sneak has come. Let me catch you. Ooh, a ghost mantis. Easily mistaken for dry leaves. Oh yeah, I know we've been there. Have I donated this yet? I have not, okay. So let's go donate this and then let's hurry to the ocean to see what's up. Wasn't originally on our agenda for today, but things must be done. To the museum. I wonder if we can get up to rank A by the end of this year. Is that physically possible? I mean, we've leveled up two ranks in two seasons two more seasons two more ranks i feel like that should be our goal i don't know if it's achievable but it doesn't hurt to try oh it's gonna be so much harder though because we don't have the ocean to fix anymore hmm oh well i don't know why i came here i should just do this i always forget that you can actually fast travel to the ocean spots Hi, Kibble, my love. How are you? 
Is there ever a computer upgrade for the sea creatures underwater? I know I saw for fish and for bugs and for forageables. Uh, this isn't where I need to be. But let's go say hey to the princess if she wants to talk to us. If we can find her. Not here. Hello. No, she doesn't want to talk to us. Uh, okay. Wait. Could that be a ship's fan? Okay. Do the proper place now. Oh, I can't wait until we get the next Coral Island update. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I'm nowhere near like the town rank to experience the updates to that gameplay, but giving the merfolk actual friendship levels and all of that stuff is going to be amazing. I'm so looking forward to it. Come over here, Tink. Okay, I will. Cho Oyu has found something interesting. Very interesting indeed. That face. <laughs> but before I tell you more, I'd like to ask you one question. How would you feel about getting rid of that suit for good? I would love it. Uh, oh, if only, but I can't breathe in water. Uh, yes. Yes, it's unfortunate. You need that to survive here. Cho Oyu found this scroll the other day while I was strolling through the deep sea. Or rather, the goddess led me to this scroll in the deep sea. It's an interesting diagram. Cho Oyu needs some time to properly look through it, but it seems like it's a spell to turn a land folk into a merfolk. Yes! I'm so excited. So might this be of interest to you? Yes, <laughs> of course. Uh, yes. Of course. Cho Oyu loves that enthusiasm. Cho Oyu needs some time to further decipher this, of course, but here's a couple of necessary ingredients we'll need that you'll need to collect. Oh, good thing I never get rid of anything. This ceremony is for your benefit, after all. Well, what are you waiting for? The currents wait for no one. I'll send you a, mi a missive once the spell is ready. Oh, not the wait. Okay, let me look at what we've got going on. One of us. <laughs> uh, gather the materials and find out what she needs. Wait, what materials? Maybe it'll show up once I leave or something. Or maybe we have them already? Oh, it's just been updated. Oh, hey! It's our girl, Denali. Yo, she doesn't all, what? She also doesn't want to speak with us. Five osmium crops and five osmium kelp essence. Well, you know who has that? Me, I think. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, is this the way I'm going or needing to go? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, I really hope I'm right and that we do have that. I know we have some osmium crops. I feel that we probably have ten or five. And I feel that we probably have five of the essences. We do. Five essences and then crops. Hmm. Oh, no, we don't have any osmium crops in here. OK, well, those were mostly our spring crops, though. So maybe our crops from this season we do. No. We don't have any. <sighs> okay. Well, this is distressing indeed. Um, I have fertilizer. Where do I have fertilizer? Have I been upgrading at the lab for crops? I have. Okay. I feel like... What are the chances that fertilizing... Oops. 
Oh, you can't place on non-seed crops. Well, this is distressing. I've definitely upgraded my seeds multiple times, but I feel like if I put fertilizer on my existing seeds, that would probably also work. Since my seeds are gold quality already. Hmm. Okay, let me do this. And what do I need to do this? Oh, hey. Well, let's do that. That'll be done in two days, but I think I probably can also try to plant some more seeds. Oh, I'm so sad. I just really want a tail. Um, let's go. Oh, the general store is closed. That's okay. That's okay. Because we have a bunch of seeds at home. I can see what seeds take the least amount of time to grow. And we can try to plant some with fertilizer. Hmm. By the end of the season, I will be a merfolk. Don't you worry about it. Just sadly not today. That is indeed the proper prib profile. Not the alliteration. Okay. Hello, Bonbon. Bon. How are you? Bonbon bon barks a lot. He is a dog after all. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Let me actually go to the computer to check this. I know I'll be able to check it um, in my chest, but it's just going to be more difficult, I think. Five days, five days. Oh, everything takes 10 ever. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, then. Anything that grows in summer and fall? Summer, 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 summer and fall, ugh. Summer, spring and summer, summer, summer. Summer or fall, nine days versus seven days. Uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna be planting some hot peppers. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. I don't have five days left in the season, so I can't plant something that only takes five days. Thank you, Mayor Connor. Oh, sad. Um, it's fine. We'll just plant a very obnoxious. Wait, I can't plant it here because it's not going to be. Wait. Ariana. What are you doing here? It's not going to be in range of that. Do I have another scarecrow? Actually, where does this one go? Uh, I'll plant him down here. Oh, thank you for the sip reminder. Is stream elements being rude today? It is. I don't know what's up. It's been like that a little bit recently. I might need to update it, but I'm pretty sure I just did that a couple days ago. E4, 5. Okay, we're going to have a very awkward patch of just um, pepper seeds here. We'll get rid of them eventually. Don't worry about it. These are our seeds of dreams. Um, herein lie all of my hopes and desires for becoming a magical, mystical, oceanic icon. Um, watering can.
Well, listen, actually, maybe this is all for the best. Not me trying to talk myself. <laughs> me trying to talk myself into being happy about this. Um, this is probably for the best because um, we have so many things to explore. And if I had become a merfolk today, that would be pretty much the only thing we would be doing. You go in there, you go in there. Are you new? Oh, you are new. Did I name that cow? All of our cows are named. I don't remember their names. Wait, we only have two cows. One of them is named Moana, that's for sure. Um, the others, well, the other one actually, I do not remember. Couldn't tell ya. I'm pretty sure we have a duck named like Jeffrey or something. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, we're gonna go donate this at the museum. We're going to go to the ranch and see about getting more animals. We're going to go to the carpenter and see about upgrading our coop so we can get more and more animals. Begrudgingly plant seeds for mermaid dreams. Well, yes. One thing about me, I do want to be a mermaid. How's the duck not Donald, though? Um, good question. I actually, well, we have two ducks. I don't remember what either of their names are. I don't know what any of our animals' names are, except for Moana. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. We have Hey Hey, the chicken. Winter seeds at last. This is a game changer. I've been waiting to diversify my garden for the colder months. I always loved gardening, but who'd have thought I'd actually enjoy making a living out of it? Yeah, apparently Brie was like a model or something. I don't know how she ended up with Walter, but good for her, I guess. Um, Luke used to run around the vineyard when he was little and he'd eat grapes until his stomach hurt. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> good. Oh, wait, no, you still have more to say. That boy has no self-control. Interesting. Okay, let's grab these. We're going to the carpenter first. Because that's closer. Or maybe something French inspired a la Le Don Don. <laughs> Fair enough. We could do that. Uh, our coop. We want to upgrade 20 hardwood, 50 stone, and 10 fiber. We need 20 hardwood. I might have that at home. Fiber and stone. That's easy enough to remember. Oh, let me grab this shallot. And this. Okay. To the ranch. Wait, are you new? I don't think this is a new butterfly. I think it's an existing butterfly. Tiger swallowtail? Hmm. Oh, yeah. We've caught it before. Okay. Oh, wait. Is today the birthday of the people or was that yesterday? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's today, right? Mm. We'll see. Oh, today. Okay, good. Okay, we can get a goat produces goat milk and we can also get pigs produce black truffles okay and then when we upgrade our coop we can get quails and pea fowls produce feathers and quail eggs okay let's get ourselves oh wait okay 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 give me names for our goat and our pig please i think we're probably gonna have two goats and two pigs i don't know if we can get that many but give me names give me names barn select building yes what is our goat going to be named kitty you would like to be a goat i mean you can if you want can we have prib for a pig does prib a <laughs> does prib want to be a pig cranston for a goat or a pig 
You remember spending entirely too long copying the is feeling happy styling for the pigu that one night on Discord? I don't remember what that is. What that was. Anyway, you can be a pig. Truffle for a pig. Okay, we'll make Cranston, <laughs> Cranston our goat and truffle our pig. Sounds cute. Let's do it. Oh, our money going down the drain, but you know what? It's worth it for the cute things. Cute, <laughs> not things. Cute animals. Truffle. Cranston is such a chicken name, though, but we already have our two chickens. But if we ever get a different chicken that's not our current chicken, I will remember that. Let's also say hi to Jack. How are you? How's it going? Well, ain't this a delightful turn of events. With our town hitting rank C, the ranch is now home to pigs and peafowls. Make sure to let your animals out of the barn once in a while, okay? I do, every day. Especially in weather as beautiful as this. We keep piles of fodder in the back in case the grass supply drops. Okay. Good chat. Every time you watch, you're tempted to try Coral Island. Oh, it's so fun. But I do totally understand that if you have a bunch of other games that you're playing, you're probably not looking to add another one. Oh, well, you can just slither away, creature. Oh, I feel like <laughs> I love any time something happens and I no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, I am so distressed. Um, I like speak quietly in an attempt to not scare off the thing that cannot hear me because, again, this is a game and I am a human. The whisper. Yeah, the whisper. <laughs> oh, no, it's OK. We finally we already got one of those. Maybe I can catch it anyway, though, once it stops being aware of me. We need a better, um, a better bug net. Actually, don't keep walking. I can't reach you that quickly. Okay. Um, I might be able to upgrade our bug net. Here's also a log for us. Thank you. Let's cross our fingers. Everyone cross your fingers and toes and hope that we have... enough hardwood to upgrade our uh what do we need to upgrade our coop okay this is inconvenient just let me catch you please thank you a saddleback lannon i don't know if cranston is specifically a name of anything to be honest it feels very much like it can be whatever I could a little bit see it as a chicken. I feel like it's also fine as a goat. Unless there's some like Cranston lore that I'm missing and it is actually a chicken. Oh, let's see our animals. I wonder if they're in here or if they're out roaming. Oh, hey, what are you? Oh, sweet. Don't mind if I do. Wait, is it a people name? I've never met anyone named Cranston. I've never heard of anyone named Cranston. Look at them. I think they're babies. Are they supposed to be babies? They're very cute. There's Crib Pig. Okay. Amazing. We need to go check our... Um, yes, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, we don't have enough. Well, maybe tomorrow. Um, Osmium Kelp Essence. We either need the Essence or the Kelp. I don't know what else we need to upgrade our bug net. So let's just bring everything. Um, let Yeah, let's just bring everything. I might need hardwood, actually, now that I think about it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do. Is it worth it? Hmm. Don't forget I need essence for the mermaid. That's true, but it's going to be a few days. 
still and I have a lot more kelp that I can put in um, into my extractor. You think it's more a last name than a first name, like the actor from Breaking Bad? Oh, I've never watched Breaking Bad and I don't actually know who's in that. Oh, hey, shopping? I think I'm looking at the menu. Lily seems tense today. You wonder why. Cool. I hope you bought a lot. Uh, what are you up to? A social visit, actually. I'm here to see my dad. He and I gotta set some stuff straight. Okay. Oh, birthdays! Um, well, I'll see you around, Tink. Goodbye. Or goombai, as the giants would say, I suppose. Are we about to eavesdrop on this conversation? Oh, hey, Lils. This is a nice surprise. Oh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Daddy, I'm not okay. C can we talk? I'm ready to talk now. Oh, wait, stop. Of course. Do you want to sit down? Let me make you some tea real quick. Oh, stream elements thanks for popping in <laughs> and saying hey oh i haven't changed it don't do that <laughs> Prim. not you calling me out <laughs> live and in the living color <laughs> thanks dad <laughs> wait 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 give me a second <laughs> stream elements wait 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 i'll come up with a wonderful question for you try again in like 30 seconds um chatbot Sorry. <laughs> I have an eyelash in my eye and I temporarily forgot that I was live and just made whatever sound I would have made if I were by myself. Um, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We have a new question. Give it a, a few seconds and then come back. Uh, Dad, work's been tough. I'm sorry if I seem distant lately. I made a huge mistake at work, Dad, and the company almost lost a big client because of it. I failed, Dad. I almost lost my job. Oh, I might have broken stream elements again. I'm sorry. Lils, you did your best. If you lost your job, so be it. You're smart. You'll get another fancy job. You might even get to work on Poogle. What? Oh, I get it. Nobody from here ever landed a job there. You'd be the first. No, Dad. Oh, I like their little tea set. Sorry. I know how much this job means to you. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, not the crying face. Oh, not the head rub. That's so cute and so sweet. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I feel better already. Let me tell you what happened. Please go back to your seat, Dad. It's going to be a long one. Why did he get up and walk the long way around? Good question. I don't know. Uh, Yeah, I think I might have broken stream elements. I'm sorry. Okay, I came here for a purpose. It was to see if we can upgrade our bug net. Uh, oh no, I need more hardwood. Well, where else can I get hardwood? I think literally there's just a cap to it right now for me anyway. Um, so we'll just have to wait. But we can say hello to Yuri. Just a few moments back, I'd have bet my left sock we'd never see C rank, but here we are. Someone owes me a sock. Charles and I always prepare for medical emergencies at the beach cleanup festival, nothing in particular. It's good to have doctors around at big gatherings in case someone gets heat stroke or something like that. Phew, are you sweating as much as I am? This heat is intense. I feel like being one of two doctors in a small town would be incredibly difficult. You're essentially never not on call. Because even if you're not working, 
there's only one other person, so you kind of have to be available. It's definitely challenging. Um, let me put some of this here. Okay, and I'll put all of this away because I don't need it for now. <laughs> Kitty. Uh, I mean, Stream Elements asks, uh, what was your favorite movie you saw in theaters last year? I'm trying to think if I have an answer to this. Um, What did I see in theaters last year? Last year was a weird year. Uh... I saw The Little Mermaid live action. I saw um, Wish. I saw The Eras Tour. And wait, was Honor Among Thieves last year? I feel like that might have been early last year, wasn't it? I think those were the only movies I saw in theaters last year, which is actually more than a typical year for me, I feel. But I enjoyed all of them, to be honest. Okay, let's go into town. Um, we can try to hit up the lab to open this fossil. I do want to check out the new clothes and new furniture. Have I seen Dune Part 2? I haven't. I haven't seen the first Dune, but I haven't read any of the Dune books. And I kind of want to read the first couple of books before I watch the movie. But I've kind of heard that Dune Part 2 is really good. Hi there. Hi, Archie. Oh, gifts. Don't let me forget after this cutscene. Gifts. Oh, I did see Barbie. But I didn't see Barbie in theaters. I saw it um, afterwards. I have not watched Oppenheimer yet. Uh, hi, Archie. What are you doing? Busy, busy. <laughs> I'm collecting rocks today. Look how many rocks I found. Um, are you taking all of them home? I don't know. I don't think mom would be happy if I did. I think I can bring some of them home, though. Which one should I bring? Oh, I like this one. It looks like a butt. <laughs> okay. I feel like Barbie in theaters would have been so fun, though. The whole Barbenheimer situation, everyone getting all excited. Would have been a good time. Hey there, Ting. Heading toward the school? Uh, uh, heading towards the taco truck. I had a craving, you know how it is. Although, Emma doesn't sell me anything ever. Yep, Emma does make amazing tacos. I'm picking Oliver up. Let's walk together. Where did I go that triggered these cutscenes? Big day, huh? I'm tired, Dad. Can we have ramen for dinner? Wait, what do those two things have to do with each other? Way ahead of you. Already made a special one today. So cute. You did Barbenheimer and it was a lot of sitting. Oh, yeah, because how long is Oppenheimer? Like three and a half hours or something like that? Or did I make that up? And Barbie is not a short movie. Oh, no. <laughs> We're just getting all of the cutscenes. Oi, Raphael, we got a letter from mom and dad. I forgot this is what the upstairs of their house looked like. Really? Give me a sec. Dear Pablo and... Hmm, something wrong? They misspelled my name. Oh, <laughs> oh yikes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Let me take a look. No worries, kitty. Thank you for popping by. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, they spelled it with a PH. But hey, good news, brother. They only misspelled it once in the beginning. I'm sure it was a mistake. Oh, mumble. I'm sure it was. <laughs> What's wrong? It's just one mistake, Raphael. But it's not, Pablo. 
People always forget about me. Like the other day at the tavern, no one paid attention to what I was saying. And even my own parents forgot about me. What? That's not true. People love you. No, they don't. Did anyone notice I left the tavern? Stutters. Uh, yes. Yes, they did. <laughs> you're lying. I can tell. Yeah, you're right. When I noticed you weren't there anymore, I asked around and no one even realized you were at the tavern to begin with. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit too truthful, I think. I don't know that Raphael needed to hear all of those details. I know, I can help you make more friends. I'll help you be more popular so that you won't be forgotten ever again. You should come with me whenever I go out. I got plenty of friends I can introduce you to. What? No, that's not what I... This is the perfect plan! <laughs> Raphael is not convinced. Alright, um... Raphael, how's it- how's it going? <laughs> you okay today? I, um, I saw the stores have new things. It's nice, with the town rank C and all. Why did I even come in here? I didn't need to be here. My parents aren't originally from Coral Island. They sort of, um, arrived here from Dulca Island when they were young. They came with two of my uncles. Dolka Island is, like, really far from here. When we were kids, our parents would sometimes take Pablo and me there to visit our grandparents, but, um, not too often. Pablo is my older brother. We look a bit alike, right? Um... You have the same hair color. Oppenheimer is three hours, but with ads it was, like, 3.5. Oh my goodness. And Barbie was two hours. Yeah, that's definitely a long day of sitting in the theaters. Do I plan on seeing the movie Imaginary? I don't know if I know what that is. Um, all that time, by the way, the lab was where I actually intended to go. So we just got a fun little bonus moment, I guess. Triceratops arm. Sweet. Oh, we've already donated it. Oh, a horror movie? Then absolutely not. I don't do horror movies. Occasionally I'll watch one around Halloween, like a singular one. Have I seen you in this outfit before? I must have. Um, have you spotted it yet? The black roots have all up and disappeared from the beach. It's a genuine mystery, isn't it? But hey, can't say I'm complaining. Um, yeah, I... We'll sometimes watch one around Halloween because my partner really, really likes horror movies, but I don't. So usually, like, our deal is I will watch one horror movie um, when the season is right, and he will watch one Christmas movie when the season is right, because he's not a big Christmas movie fan. Okay. Okay. Triceratops arm, there we go. Now we have to remember the birthdays. That's what we're doing right now. Um, Anne, what does Anne, we don't know what Anne loves. Should we do a little cheeky, no, mm. Let's maybe buy her a muffin. Oh, actually, have we tried to give her one before? Mm, I don't think so. We can try to give her a muffin. I was going to look at the wiki and see what people love, but, you know. Um, uh, I feel like Leah would like crystals. And if she doesn't, I guess we'll just cry. Um, black opal for Leah. And, well, do I think Anne would like gems? I don't know. Would Anne like forageables? Because she's a woodsy girl. Uh, mm. we'll just get her a muffin. And then we'll have to track them down. I just had the worst feeling that maybe they won't be here. Um, Erica wants one hot pepper. We can definitely do that. Excuse me, I would like one muffin, please. And now we need to track down the people. 
Anne, where are you? Eh? Oh, at the lake. Okay. Taco's sleeping. I really, really wanted to pet Taco, but he wouldn't like it very much. Hello, butter. I meant to go to the shops today. Just so difficult to, like, remember to do things when they're open. There's always so much going on. Man, fancy meeting you here. Happy birthday. I'm just surprised you remembered my birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. We don't know what happened, but all the roots around here disappeared. You think it's connected with all the fishes coming back as well? It's great that Paul and I can observe wildlife around the clock since we're surrounded by nature, but I also like that the woodland is so close to the school. As a mom, I worry all the time. I don't like Zoe walking too far, especially on rainy days. Let me get this straight. You quit your job and move to Coral Island to become a farmer? That sounds so exciting! Paul and I should make a documentary about you one day. It would be different from what we usually do, but it sure would be inspiring. You don't say. Ooh. See? Look at all these things we could have been finding if we, <laughs> if we had actually been digging up these, like, clover spots. Okay, before we go find Leah, I am going to come over here because Paul wanted us to chop down a log by his house and I had forgotten about it. Wait, eh? Chop. There. Done. Okay. I guess that will update later. And let's find Leah. Let's hope she likes gems. She's at her house. It's actually really nice kind of just running around town a little bit. Oh. Oh, I can't see it because it's behind the tree. There's a bug and I really want to catch it because I don't think we've caught it yet. Oh, it's just a violin beetle. Never mind. A disappointment. I thought it was like a cool spider or something. Okay, their house. Oh, wait, no. That's just also a violin beetle. The house should still be open. So we can go on in and find our girl. Leah, hello. Um, happy birthday. Aw, oh, thanks for the birthday present, Tink. You're so sweet. You're welcome. Does this mean you like us now? Those spooky black roots, they're gone from the beach. I hope it's a good sign, and it looks like the fish seem to agree. I spent two hours on my hair today, and the wind just blew all my hard work away. Ugh, so annoying. Well, it happens. It gets stuffy inside the house. I prefer to work outdoors in nature. It's a much prettier backdrop. Okay, I guess we can also say hey to Randy and Ling, because we never really see them. Living here has its perks. For one, we're very close to Sam's, so whenever we run out of things, we can just pop by. Second of all, it's close to the tavern. You know, for the lazy nights. Feel free to snoop around. Oh, thank you. Someone who understands. Oh, at first I thought Ling was knitting, but I think she's writing notes about something. We've got the new trash collector, the ultimate scarecrow, and even a sturdy music player now. Tech is making strides in our town. Go Starlet Town. <laughs> There's no need for me to concentrate when I knit. Oh, she is knitting. Uh, oh, 
okay. Well. Cool. Birthdays acknowledged. Maybe we should actually go home and see if there are any new bugs around. Uh, the lab's probably closed. Um, home? We have plenty of space in our inventory for now. Ooh, what's this? I'm mailing you one of our favorite recipes, hummus. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, yum. I love making homemade hummus. Insect forecast. Uh, there's a new butterfly up there. Oh, there are new things everywhere. Not everywhere, just a couple places. But let's go up by the mines and see if we can get those. Mines and forest. Maybe because we never catch bugs in the evening. And I'm assuming different bugs come out in the evening than uh, during the day. Where is this bug? Oh, you have new things? Yes! An alien scarecrow. Interesting. Monster scarecrow? Slayer backpack. Interesting. Oh, no. Okay, well, there it is. I have to wait for it to be less aware of me. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch it with our current, our current stealthness. Just let me catch you. Just let me catch you. Okay, we got it. Hickory Horn Devil. Actually, is this a new one? I could have sworn we've caught one of these before. Oh, no, we haven't. Okay. Fabulous. Now we need a butterfly from the forest. Yes, a firefly. This is actually a huge game changer. I mean, no wonder it's so expensive to make. Um, the computer and then the insect something something come on that wasn't fair that was so mean <laughs> that was so mean <laughs> hi new how are you uh how's gameplay going gameplay is going pretty well um all things considered that butterfly was just a little mean to me or moth or whatever it was but other than that, uh, pretty good. We upgraded our, or we like ranked up our town rank last stream. So we've got new stuff going on. We're in the process of trying to become a merfolk. So that's really fun. Yeah, having a pretty, a pretty good time. Oh, we also got a, a couple pigs and goats. Those are new. Let's check this again. Um, okay, we found that. There's one here. Where is this? Oh, wait, this is right by us. So let's go over here. Uh, yeah, and we got this insect forecast thing for our computer. So now we can see what bugs are where, which is actually super nice. Oh, no, I think that was the new one. Well... It's hard when it's dark. It's also hard when I'm not very observant, so <laughs> I don't see things until they're alerted and flying away. But, you know, it is what it is. You're doing well. Gotten a lot of things accomplished. Yeah, I feel like we have gotten a lot of things accomplished, which is a lot of fun. Um, trying to make sure we're, you know, making progress. OK, let's go again. Check again now that I scared that moth off. Uh, lay sigh. Uh, here. I just wish there was a way to access this portably, like while you were out. Oh, wait, no, there's still one over there somewhere. Huh. And down there. And over by Nina's house. OK, let's see if we can find it. Wait, let me check one more time. I'm pretty sure that's where we just were. Okay, that one is gone, but there is one over there in the same-ish area. 
hit RB when looking at insects on the computer and it will show the location of sea bugs. Wait, really? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you for that tip. There it is. I need it. Just let me catch you. Don't get scared. You'll like it at the museum. Maple leaf cutter moth. Sick. Okay. And then over by Nina's house, there should be one as well. I'm actually going to check that on the map next time we go home, I think. About the ocean ones. I feel like that would be difficult, though, to travel all the way to... Well, I guess you could fast travel, but... Hmm. It'd be a little bit more challenging to implement that knowledge. Yes. I feel like this is making us so productive. We'll have our collections completed in no time. That's actually a lie. It's going to take at least another year or two because I never fish. Uh, I don't know why I went to that trash can. Mm. Donate item. One, two. Beautiful. I actually wonder what items we need for our offerings. Maybe you should go check that in a minute. Okay, let me look. Oh! Whoa! That's so cool. Yeah, it tells you what's everywhere. That's so awesome. Okay, let me unload all of this stuff. Okay, bugs can go away. Seeds. Do I have one for fish somewhere? I could have sworn that I did. Hmm. Maybe I did not. Maybe I passed it. well okay and this other flower we'll just go here because we don't have space in our other one and this goes there and this stuff will just move right on over here um all that stuff is still cooking. I might actually grab more of this, though. And we'll fill that again. And that. Okay. Okay. Lovely. We need hardwood. That's the last thing we're waiting on to upgrade our coop, but also to upgrade our bug net. I think I will prioritize our coop over our bug net. Okay, tomorrow's the 25th. There's nothing happening and it's going to be a sunny day. So let's go to sleep and see what awaits us. Our relationship went up with Anne and Leah. Wonderful. No money <laughs> as usual. Gotta work on that at some point. But I guess for now we're just vibing. Okay, no mail. Pick all of this up. Ooh. Okay. We have melons, roses, sunflowers that we're gonna need seeds for. Cabbage. And lilies.
Okay. So many things. Um, online shop. Will this also show me my inventory? No. We need, uh, <laughs> sunflowers. I'm just gonna buy a bunch. Roses. Cabbage. Lilies. Oh, we probably actually won't be able to plant these, though, now that I think about it, because the season's wrong. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going to have to wait. But it doesn't hurt to buy these, actually. Let's buy. But we only have, what, three days left in the season, so we're not going to have enough time for any of these to grow. Um, oh, they're in the mailbox. That's, yeah. Anyway, ignore me. <laughs> ignore me. They're not even here. Uh, produce. Bunch. Crops. Okay. And then these ones we'll put in here. Did I say good morning to Thackeray? Hello, Thackeray, my love. Oh, look at the little bird with the... Oh, that's so cute. I've never seen that animation before. Of the bird with the little bag dropping the stuff off. That's so cute. Seeds. Okay. There, there. Let me grab out the other things that I need. I wonder if we need anything for the little piggies. I don't know. I don't imagine that they're going to be ready with any animal products right now. We just got them yesterday. I think today we will try to go to the furniture store and the clothing store close to when they open if we can. See what the new offerings are and then we'll probably go back to the mines today. Oops. There we go. To progress there, we got to wait for our crops to be ready. Our seeds are in the process of getting upgraded. We should also probably see about getting the fish. Um, forecast. And at some point, we're going to have to start thinking about how we actually want to lay out our farm long term. Because I really do want to upgrade it for, for fall, which is coming right around the corner. Uh, I don't need to water that. I don't know why I did that. Mm, I kind of want to leave these garden plots for now, so I think we will. Let me just take my handy dandy axe. Yes. And place this there so those will stay watered now. And we'll grab this one. And we'll place this here so those will stay watered now since, you know. Just cause, I guess. I hope the rest of this grows. I didn't really... I don't know if I took into account when I planted, like, the flowers when they were going to be ready. I probably would have. I usually start to think about that kind of thing. All right, our lovely ducks and chickens. You can let those out. No, 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 I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to pick up the eggs. Come on out. 
Oh, oh, we also need like a silo and stuff because once fall comes around, all of our grass is gonna dry out. So we're gonna need to like actually feed our animals each day. Maybe that's what we really need to prioritize. It's gonna take forever for those to be built as well. I have not been planning as well as I thought I had been planning. Um, hmm. Yeah, those are gonna be our priorities. I don't know what supplies we need in order to build those. It's like a silo and like a something something. <laughs> yes, a silo and a something something. Oh my. All right, come on out to graze, animals. Okay, let me put all of this stuff away. You, you nothing here. Nothing there. Okay, I think my wool here, yes. What else? Then our tools and the eggs and milk, which we can put away. Our first silver quality large milk, nice. And then let's go to the carpenter and see what we need for those buildings. Let's also stop by the ranch um, it's probably open today. Yes. And see if there are any other animal supplies we need. Medicine, temperature machine. Okay, no, we're good for now. Head to the carpenter to see what we need for those buildings. Rummage through a little trash bin, you know. See what we gotta do. Okay. Uh, carpenter. We need a mill. Wait, no. We need a silo. Eh? A mill and a silo? Yeah, I think the mill will work to make our hay. Is that a lie? No. I don't know. Girl, <laughs> we're gonna make this silo first. Scrap, stone, and resin. Okay, we have those things. We just need to get back home to get them. And then we'll also go to the shops. I thought there was another one over there. You're playing Stardew with your friends, so you're gonna head out. No worries. Thank you so much for coming to the stream, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, back home we go. Was it stone and scrap and something something? Hmm. I'm just gonna grab everything. Wood, scrap. I know it wasn't trash. Oh, resin. I have more resin back here, I think. Yes. Thank you, Astrid. I did remember that time. I oftentimes will not remember once I forget, but this time I got it. I had to see it and then I could, and then I had it. Okay, carpenter, silo. Oh, I have to find a place for this. You know what? Move camera. Let's pop it over here. Or here, I guess. Confirm. Oh, we can do more than one at a time. I didn't know that. Okay, we would just need bronze bars. 
I don't know why I thought you could only have one building from the carpenter working, like being worked on at a time. Hmm. Do I have bronze bars is the question. I know bronze is like the first ore you have access to, but I think I just haven't really gone back to that. Mine, unless I really needed to. No, uh, we could make one, but we got these cooking and I think we might need ore to make another furnace if we were going to. Oh, I forgot a um, hot pepper for Erica. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's worth it. Actually, maybe it is. We should be able to get enough bronze ore pretty quickly, I think. If we go to the mines, like to the earth mine first. Okay. Stuff away. Now, let's go into town. And go to those shops and look at what we have. The White Flamingo. Oh, it's closed on Thursdays. All right. What about the furniture store? I love that the furniture store is just called furniture. Um, indoor decor. I mostly want to look at the styles. Ooh. I don't actually know what's new <laughs> off the top of my head, to be completely honest. We have some fun stuff. Oh, fancy. Neoclassical. Nice. Oh, I love the uh, framed portrait that's some of the artwork that was used in promoting the game but it's got Denali on it but I think in the back behind her that's actually Raphael as a merfolk oh spooky style whoa I'm sure some people love this I don't think I would ever use this but that's really fun oh and we have the mermaid style that's probably what I would go with winter style oh that's so fun um and then no 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 wanted to look at the outdoor decor cabin wood style javanese east asian baroque Ooh, that's kind of fun with the topiaries spooky style oh wait the tentacles coming out of the well that is so fun beach style art nouveau neoclassical this i love oh it's so pretty and mermaid style. Wow. Really nice selections. I know. We've got some nice ones unlocked. I'm gonna have to pick, like figure out what vibe we're gonna be going for. Cause I don't know. Okay, let's go to the mines. Oh no, cuts, not oh no. I didn't mean oh no. I like the cutscenes, but Oh, wait, we also need a hot pepper for Erica. Oh, my. I usually try to finish the errands as soon as I can, because then we can get another one and they give us merit points that we can spend at the town center. Paul, I held on to hope, really did. Thought maybe you'd remember by morning, but here we are, past noon. You forgot my birthday. Oof, how could you? Not the involuntary cutscenes. <laughs> I don't mind them when they're not like back to back. Oh, poodles. I, I didn't mean to. I just forgot. Oh, no. <laughs> We're stop. We're actually you can't see me right now, but I'm behind Anne's character portrait, literally hiding and peeking my head over listening to their conversation. Like I <laughs> not even walking upon it accidentally, literally snooping this isn't the kind of snooping i like you just forgot that's your excuse we've been married for so long am i not special to you anymore paul look at us 
No, it's not like that at all. You're my world. I, I slipped up. I'm truly sorry. Oh my. Sorry doesn't fix this, Paul. Words are cheap. You're absolutely right, Anne. I've messed up and I'll fix this, I promise. Oh, yikes. <laughs> We're like, we've heard enough. <laughs> Okay, last stop. Well, last chore, I guess, task. We're getting a hot pepper and we're gonna give it to Erica. Oh, we have one right here. Perfect. Seeds and there. Now we just have to find where she is. Oops. Um. In the town kind of square area by the museum. Erica, I have your hot pepper. Where'd you go? Oh, <laughs> there she is. Running away. Take this. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, how's your day? Everyone told me the roots at the beach are gone. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'll go with good. Has Summer been kind to you, Tink? We left some food on the counter last night and one of the cats ate it. So now I'm just keeping an eye on Peanut and my baby Butter. Hopefully nobody gets a tummy ache. Oh. What? Oh, it's a little caterpillar thing? Why is it looking around like that? What? I was like, eyeing up the joint. A Western Tiger Swallowtail? Is this new? Oh, it is. Well, don't mind if I do. This is our last stop for real, for real. I will stop getting distracted after this. We're going to the mines. I was just intrigued by the way it was pulling a... um. A Dreamlight Valley Crocodiles move, lifting its head up, looking side to side, crouching down again. Donate item. There we go. How's it coming along, actually? Right. I mean, to be fair, we just ranked up uh, last stream, so this checks out. However, um... I just love ranking up. It makes me feel so accomplished. So knowing that we're a far way off still makes me a little sad. Into the cavern. Oh, first we need to go into the earth mine because we need some bronze to make. Let's go down to floor 15. Sure. I don't actually know where the bronze starts to get good, but. Mm, will we be able to, oh wait, what? This is giving me silver here. Are we in the wrong, we're in the wrong thing. Are you kidding me? I was like, this looks odd. <laughs> we're in the water mine. Try again, girl. There we go. This is where we need to be. Okay. Thank you, thank you. We need at least 10. Ooh. Ooh, there's a gem rock over here. At least 10 in order to make a bar, I think. Some quartz. Don't mind if I do. Not really interested in starting a fight with anything down here if I can avoid it. Just trying to find my way down. 
No, this is gonna come after me. It looks so cute too, kind of. I don't know. Cute and also scary. I hate that this thing sprouts legs. Absolutely hate that. Okay, that should be enough. So now we can move on to the actual mission, which is the fire shaft. Down to 25 and we'll try to make it maybe we'll see if we can make it to 35 actually i don't know if there's a thing at 35 there might be one at 40. we'll see okay evil bat thing I wonder if there's any lore about the monsters. Like, how did they come to be here? What are they? Okay, time to find a way down. goodness y'all what, what should we decorate tomorrow in dreamlight valley we're definitely going to be doing decorating but i don't know what area we should focus on i think we're going to be on the aisle we could potentially do the spot with scrooges and remy's um in ancient's landing or we could do where we have mini casita what is this and can I, like, do something to it? No, I think it's just there. Um, yeah, we could do where Mini Casita is in the Wild Tangle. We could do the area where we've got, like, the Mushroom Manor in the Wild Tangle. I'm not really sure yet. I feel like I haven't learned how this one, like, hits you yet. Like, what's the radius for the attack? Oh, oh wait, we got it. It's fine. We should have brought the supplies to make a rope. That would make um, make it faster to progress levels in the mines. Just let me hit you. Yeah, these actually do a bit of damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> running away I don't know how to dodge those ones yet some of them I've sort of seen the pattern to how they attack or like where they attack and I might not evade every time but some of them I have no idea okay is there ore down here and is it worth it to try to get it Ooh, this is a big space The cavern is caverning. Uh, answer, there's not ore and it's not worth it. Run. I think it's also hard because the the monsters are closer together 
up here and they start coming for you like they're more aggressive and some of the other mines you can kind of run past them and they'll leave you alone if you like stay far enough away these ones if they catch a whiff of you they're on ya to switch over to keyboard and mouse make this mining a little bit more efficient possibly this kind of looks cool down here where it's like um, you can tell that the magma like cooled over and that's what this is. Pretty neat. I don't think the higher levels look like this. Go ahead and eat a donut, girly girl. You deserve it. Blessed opal ring. Do I have one of these already? Increases the chance of finding rare items. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Pretty sweet. Eliana, is that message for me? goodness how many times can I <laughs> just hit nothingness before I actually hit the rock oh my oh we also I think probably can put more enchantments on our tools now that we've upgraded them a couple more times I think Way down. Let's go. Uh, you know what? Just hit. If you hit them enough times, then they won't be able to swing at you. So maybe the constant attack is the better option than the than the hit and run. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay. Where else is there ore? These ones in particular, I don't like. I don't know why. I think it's just like the ring that they make. I find it sometimes difficult to navigate around. Not 
not making too bad of progress right now, honestly. I also wonder if there's any, like... Any secrets to finding more gems? I know we have this ring now. I feel like that in theory should help us. But I don't know. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Whoa. Okay, note to self. The just hit until they go away does not work for the ogres when they're doing that spin attack. That really got us. I feel like these ones we really need to get rid of as soon as possible because otherwise they just throw out the baby, the baby slime boys. crossing our fingers that this is an elevator spot and it's not okay yeah we got to get down to 40 Ooh, can we do it before like midnight i don't know for like 1 a.m not sure here so we can not fight that monster if we don't have to. Oh wait, what? <laughs> Stop. Stop immediately. It's fine. Okay. you there we go i feel like that won't happen again that there was just an open space that i missed somehow we can hope oh imagine if i kept going in the other direction it would have taken me for i would have cleared like that entire floor down there we go beautiful I don't know if I would ever want to go like mining in a cave I've been in like somewhat deep cave cavern things before and A, they're really cold, B, they're kind of scary. 
You're like sort of trapped underground. It's a long way to get out. It's dark usually. I don't know if that's for me. Lovely. I feel like we're gonna be able to do it. Oops, I do need to eat though. Let me not um, <laughs> run out of energy completely. That would be horrible. I've actually never run out of energy in the mines before. I wonder what happens. Do you also just get picked up by like one of the, maybe Kira picks you up or something or Mark? I have one time, I think, stayed out too late, and I think Yuri picked me up and brought me back to my home. There we go. The mines give claustrophobia. Yeah, I don't feel it like in game, but in real life for sure. Oh no. We are running a little low on time. Uh, please let us down. Oh no. Started off with the best of intentions. And here we are, maybe not being able to actually make it to level 40. That'll be such a waste. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We've got like an hour and a half in game to find a way down. Please work with us. Coral Island deities, goddess of flowers. Come through on our behalf, please. Can use a rope. I know. I don't know if I have enough supplies to make one, though. Oh, actually, does it pull from our chest? In which case, I might be able to. If we start looking really rough, I will definitely do that. I don't know. I've never tried to craft while in the mines before unless I had the ingredients. I thought it takes like 200 rock or something. I might have that much from mining, but I don't know. Oh, there it is. Ooh, darkest cavern, clear all the mine gates. Wait, is this the bottom? <gasps> Who knew? I didn't know this was the bottom. I thought it was like level 45. Well, slay. Right, goddess was. Powerful and special, human is. Skeptical we were, yet here we are at the bottom of the fire mine. Ooh. Human, look at that. Okay, okay. I'm looking, I'm looking. That is. Oh, is that the fire giant? I don't know how to pronounce this. But look at the cutie. Moment, hurry, break the cursed tablet you must. Okay, I will. I'll do it. Oh, this is exciting! Can I? Can I break it? Hmm. Oh, so cute. Little beeping sound. That's my controller trying to connect again. Chief. Here you are. Chieftain. I don't know how to pronounce this. We thought... Responsible for turning the others to stone, we thought you did. 
Hmm. Not the USB <laughs> disconnect connect. How do you confuse? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it was Gort. Who is Gort? Gort? Here Gort is? Where? Okay, you gonna fill me in? Do you not know, but Gort was here when other giants turned to stone. Wait, what happened? All right, it is. To lobby we go. Okay, we go to lobby. Thank you, we do, human. In lobby, we shall see you. Okay. Okay. Um, ooh, completed. Claim reward. Let's also claim this reward. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know why it's still here. Okay. Continue. Go up to lobby. Oh, look at all of them reunited. Chieftain, giants feel something strange happened. Yes, yes, something happened. Giants heard boom when giants arrived here. Chieftain all right? Why is Giyu here? No, no, no. Not the place here is. Talk about it, we will back home. <laughs> Explain to us, Giyu will. After Giyu rests. Yes, Giyu? See you then, we will, Tink. Okay, okay. Yeah, it is past my bedtime. Just saying. Or it's getting close to it anyway. Oh no, it's so my bedtime. Ah, don't let me. <laughs> Just let me make it home. Just let me make it home. Into my cute little bed. And we can deal with everything tomorrow. Okay, 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 okay. Tomorrow is the 26th. Ooh, so next stream, oops. Next stream, we're going to have our beach cleanup festival. Amazing. Okay, let's see what we have. Errand done, mining level increased, relationship went up with Erica, and no monies, as per usual. <laughs> okay, um, perfect. Game saved. And I think we're actually going to go ahead and end stream here. That's a good place to end, I think. Let me put on a bit of music. I can see if anybody else is playing. Thanks for hanging out with me. We made a lot of progress, actually. And I'm very excited to pick up next time, see what's up with the giants, and oh, hopefully, well, no, we'll have to wait for next season to get our mermaid tail, unfortunately. Who is playing what that's exciting? Hmm. You know what? Jade Mist is playing Fey Farm, so let's go see her. Fey Farm is very similar to Coral Island, so if you like Coral Island, you'll probably enjoy that stream. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please pop by and give Jade Mist a like if you have some time. If not, no worries. I'll be back with Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. We're going to be doing some decorating on Eternity Isle. But uh, until then, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you really soon. Goodbye, everybody.